Olá a todos! Sounding like a native is usually a big concern among my students. And they're right, it is so important. Speaking a language is all about communication, so understanding and being understood is very important. The choice of words plays a big role, but the pronunciation does too. And sometimes sounds sound so similar we can barely tell the difference, let alone pronounce them. I am starting a new series of videos that focus on specific sounds to help students master these step by step. This series will be great not only for beginners, but also for more advanced students that still need support and more pronunciation practice drills. If you enjoy my content, remember to subscribe and click the bell to receive notifications for these new videos. Also, consider becoming my patron. My basic tier starts at $1 a month. E agora, vamos começar! As I always say, the accents above the letters and the place of that letter in a syllable have an important part in the sound of that letter. Today I bring you two very close sounds formed by the letters E and U, combined, the diphthongs EU and EU. And I will practice the pronunciation with you and let you know where you can find them in Portuguese words. First of all, let's practice the two isolated diphthongs. Repeat after me. Eu, eu. As you can probably hear, the second diphthong has a much more open E sound, caused by the added accent. Now, some rules. Eu is a very common sound in plenty of Portuguese words. Even though it is much more common at the end of words, it can also be found at the beginning of some, such as Europa, Euro, Euphoria, Eucalypto. But also in some first names, such as Eugenio, Eulalia, Eunice. At the end of words, it's the regular form of the second singular person formal and the third singular person of the verbs with the infinitive ending in ER in the PPS tense. Let's look at some examples. Comer, ele comeu. Beber, você bebeu. Aprender, ela aprendeu. It's also common in words with just one syllable such as eu, meu, teu, seu, pneu, and in some first names, such as Amadeu or Romeu. On the other hand, the diphthong eu is used at the end of words when forming part of the tonic syllable or in nouns with one single syllable. Let's look at some examples. Chapéu, seu, Deu. Now let's play a game. I will be saying some random words and you'll repeat them after me and then decide how would you spell it? Eu or eu? Ready? Let's do this. Let's give it a try. Choveu. Meteu. Chapéu. Trofeu. Seu. Piteu, céu, correu. I hope this video was helpful and you now feel more confident saying the diphthong eu and eu. This is a sound that does not exist in English and I know some students struggle saying it. Watch the video more than once if needed and record yourself. Listen to yourself in the recording. It's a great exercise. Até a próxima!